Hi yogis! I'm a yoga teacher by night, but during the day I spend eight and a half hours sitting behind a desk staring at a computer screen. Let's chat about my five favorite yoga postures to counteract all of that sitting. Welcome to Honeybee Yoga Studio. My name's Lindsay, and as I mentioned, I spend a lot of time sitting. So these are my five go-to postures to feel better, to feel great. I find my hips, my low spine, my shoulders, they get really stiff, really sore throughout the day. So at the end of the day, these are the five postures that I like to enjoy to counteract all of that sitting. First, maybe most important, are our wrists. Let's take our hands into fists and roll them in one direction, followed by the opposite direction. Let's then clasp our hands together and take that same motion, rolling them one way and then the other, and then we'll clasp our hands the opposite way and continue with our wrist rolls. Bring lots of space and movement into our poor wrists. We can then reach our hands forwards and pull our fingertips tall, reach them down low. Maybe use a hand to tug our fingertips either low or high. It might also feel good to use the floor. So if your wrists are really sensitive, we can avoid this, but you can slowly use your body weight to press space in through your wrists. You can see here, I turn my wrist around and slowly wobble back and forth, encouraging some space to come into my wrists. Next, we'll enjoy a lunge twist to bring some relief into our hips and our hip flexors. So we'll come into a neutral lunge, taking a big step behind us. Those back heels stay lifted. Maybe we come to our knee for support. Front knee stacks above our ankle. We'll take a big inhale as we reach those fingertips tall, feel some space through our shoulders. And then we'll begin to lower the opposite hand to our front knee to reach forward and then our other hand to reach behind us. So we're twisted here, we're in what's called maybe a boomerang. We feel lots of space in our front hip flexor and a nice rotation through our spine. You could also do a gentle back bend, inviting more space into your hip flexors. And of course, repeating on the other side. Our forward fold is gonna to bring tons of relief to our low spine. Let's let our feet go a little bit wider than hip distance apart and then gently fold forwards. Maybe your hands come to the earth in front of you. Maybe they come to a chair for support. It's really what feels best for your body, whatever movement your body is craving. Maybe you enjoy some movement, bending into each of your knees one at a time, feeling space through your inner thighs. Those arms can reach in front of you. They can reach to opposite elbows and have your head hang heavy. Maybe your hands come to clasp at your low spine and you pull those hands away from you and feel lots of space through your shoulders, your collarbones, your triceps. Hanging out in your version of your forward fold for as long as feels good, maybe six or eight breaths. Next is our version of bridge. So coming to your spine, knees bent, heels a little bit closer to your sit bones than normal. You'll take a big inhale, feel your spine press into the earth. And as you exhale, we're gonna press through our heels to lift our hips away from the ground. Your weight may come to stack towards your shoulders and feel lots of space through your hip flexors. While you're here, you can shimmy your shoulders underneath your body. Maybe your hands come to clasp underneath your hips as they are here. You can walk those elbows back to neutral, maybe include your arms. 
as you lift into your bridge, lifting your hands tall above your head, enjoying a long breath in this open space, and then exhaling to lower your hips back down. If you'd like a little bit of a challenge, a little bit of an outer thigh stretch, you can fold one of your ankles over the opposing thigh, kind of like a modified pigeon. Again, hanging out here as long as feels good for you. Last will be our sage pose, our seated twist. So we'll pull our knee nice and close into our body. That foot can rest on its natural side or maybe twist to the opposite side as I'm doing here. We'll take a big inhale to bring the same arm as knee is bent behind us to press into the earth. And then the opposite elbow will come to the outside of our bent knee. You can see here I have my hand lifted, kind of like a stop sign, but really you can use that bended knee in any way for leverage to twist your body in that direction. So again, that back arm is pressing into the earth so we have a long spine and we'll enjoy our twist for a few breaths. Well, that's it, yogis. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you got something out of it. If you did enjoy it, please give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below on maybe what you'd like to chat about next time. And if you aren't already, we would love to have you as a subscriber. See you guys next time.